Okay, and welcome to another exciting the match here between Team Infamous PC and Team MY Jitsu. Current character lineup team composition for Team Infamous is Vox, Glaive, and Catherine. Whereas for Team Jitsu, we've got Glaive, Catherine, and Celeste. So currently in the lane battle, we've got Celeste versus Vox. Down the jungle, we've got a pairing of identical proportions. That is Glaive and Catherine. So now the Glaive, Catherine, and Celeste pairing. Very, very strong in this meta. Glaive being a really good damage dealer. So the difference here will maybe come down to the lane power we've got here. Look at Infamous being a bit more aggressive here. They're going to try to push this. Go in on Junior. Junior separate from his tank. There goes the stun. He has to burst out, but here comes Sam Herschel in with the Elo Genesis damage. Castro trying to kite as much as damage as possible in on SJ. Going for the take in the early game. Not a big issue because both have very, very low HP. There's a stun on Junyu. Counter across with Afterburn coming and knocking back. Afterburn goes and finishes, knocks back SJ Marnell. They're going to push, try to get this kill. Castro does get the kill. This spike turret aggro, but on this side, Sam Herschel pushing Satan as well. So a really, really aggressive push here from Infamous. And they're going to go ahead and steal this jungle farm, which they need to do very quickly as Junyu is coming in with full health. They need to now get out of town there. Castro using his zoom to get a little bit more distance. But they're doing a really good job here of getting it. Oh, and Satan's actually been cleared off by Central Try to get a kill here on Celeste in front of the turret. Took the turret aggro and the damage. Not a smart decision from him. Just needs to go back, play it safe. Uh, now we've got a Satan trying to pair back up here. Box is this rotate up to the link to take care of his farm. CS is suffering a little bit, but uh, funny enough, it's still on par with Sen Herschel as Sen Herschel has to help the team by rotating down into the jungle. Take a look at the builds here. Infamous Satan with a double weapon blade, Swiss shooter. Good starting out damage build. Castro in on, on his way to building his alternating current. Sam Herschel going with a double crystal bit. Understanding that the team is pushing really aggressively, so Sam Herschel wants a bit more damage here. Junyu also going with identical build, double weapon blade, and Swiss shooter. But looks like with the three, so I'm now pairing up once again. Pushing in and pushing out. Into the lane, they need to be very careful here not to overextend here. Here comes Afterburn high hip. Now focus in and killed off. Good Afterburn attack and Merciless Pursuit stun from SJ and Junior there. So, again, be very careful. I don't like the position that Ben and Venus was in. I don't believe it's worth it to just keep them up in that lane bush there. I think what they need to do is rotate to the backs of the jungle and try to try to get some of the farm there. Once the enemy has pushed up in the in the lane bush like that. Whoa, look at that! Sen Herschel just pushed the turret and took out Castro in the blaze of Heliogenes glory, just deleting him right next to his turret, unafraid of any retribution from the turret. So you're seeing Sen Herschel doing a fantastic job here of getting the kill in on Castro. So Castro's in trouble here. He needs to be very aware of Sen Herschel's power with those Heliogenesis and Supernova power. Mining has begun. And uh, Infamous is starting to come apart at the seams a little bit here. Um, good scout trap placement, as you see there, giving vision every single time they go through that bush. Uh, Junio now on his way to a six sins here. Got a six sins, swift shooter, and a weapon blade. I'm wondering if he's going to go with a sorrow blade first here. Uh, Infamous Satan looks like he's possibly going for an early tension goal, although it is already four minute and twenty, almost four minute and a half now. And he hasn't got a tension bow yet. Uh, look to him to possibly get an attention bow in the 6th or 7th minute as he spends some of his gold already on Swiss Shooter and Weapon Blade. So we will have to see how that pans out. The lane battle is fierce here. Possible gank trying to come in, but they can't stay in the lane too long. Sen Herschel is going to probably stay in the lane there. We'll see if something happens here. Castro losing out in a couple of those fights there. Be careful. 
Interesting decision as well. You know, you'd think that Castro might have also gone with the Celeste, as a lot of the famous members are really strong with Celeste. It is a character that they like to go in for. Look at that super, look at that Heliogenesis. Supernova damage, dude, 293 damage. Course off in the counter stun. Taking in super trouble. Can't get any of this damage off as he got his too quickly. Castro looking at his and Urso does manage to get the kill, but is killed in return from SJ Marinello's basic attack. High EP, just getting out of there. Doesn't want to give the ace buff. SJ Marinello going for this gold mine. They will have enough damage with Jimmy at full health. So there you saw, again, a bad decision from Infamous to push into that elbow bush there and try to fight in front of the turret. I think not a good decision there. It, the favor is all in the favor of um, Ornstein. If you are going to go in that area, you have to be very certain that you have a knockback. Celeste pushing um, Castro and getting the damage on Castro. In, uh, Satan coming in there with the afterburn too late, getting stuck in a position where he's quickly focused down. That early supernova damage from Sen Herschel in on that list push, doing 293 damage already. In looks for a possible gank. There's a boost from Satan afterburn, but hits away. Bad afterburn hit from Satan. Grand high EP on the turret, getting all the damage. Wait for it comes out. Afterburn clears out, does a nice knockback. Oh, the Solar Storm deletes Castro. Really not nice knockback here. Satan in big trouble here. What an amazing play and sequence of effects. The timing from Ornstein. Fantastic in that last battle there. As you saw, both the Afterburn coinciding with the Solar Storm hit from Sen Herschel. Deleting Infamous, they're in big trouble right now. They need to get their act together. They are not winning this game by pushing out these aggressive Castro might get the end of this battle, which he does. Core class does hit. Core class needs to be used a lot earlier from Sen Herschel. As soon as uh, what you need to do as Celeste is as soon as you see somebody pushing you like that, you need to hit the core claps and then get some distance. So you can get your few against drops on there. Sen Herschel didn't do that and that resulted in the death. So Infamous getting a little breathing room here as they need to go in. And now, are they going to go for the gold mine? Yes, they are going to take the gold mine. Junio rotating down. High EP looking for him coming. There goes the scout trap placement. They're not going to be able to test the gold mine. 120 gold, decent payout for them. So good decision to go for the gold mine rather than push into the jungle and steal the jungle farm. But here comes a counterattack. The stun goes off in. After burn hits Castro, Castro is focused. The counter stun in and a knockback from Junio. Is it too little, too late? As Castro just one stun and he's dead here. Marnello with the merciless pursuit now is up. Gonna come in with a stun. Gets the stun off, and that's gonna be Castro. He's gonna drop down. Court clap. This is high EP, super low on health. He's gonna save him getting pushed out by San Herschel. You are seeing high EP getting dropped there as well, and that's gonna result in massive loss of farm as Ornstein now farms all the way back. Satan pushing ahead. Why is he doing this? Here comes the ultimate and the stun. This is bad news. He's going to go down here. Not a good decision from him to push up. Uh, it's very obvious that the orange team is going to rotate up to the lane there as soon as they started coming in across. He went to the lane and pushed out. Absolutely poor decision. Not the same as Calvin Munson. Very bad decision to do that. There's a really nice knockback on Castro. Core Clap gets him as he uses his base skill, but he's not enough. He is going to go down. Castro not showing enough skill with that Sonic Zoom to get away from all these stuns. And Auto he's watch. also getting focused in on the fantastic afterburns from Junior Junior hitting every single one of those afterburns perfectly. What that says to Blue Team is you need a reflex block. You need to rush an early reflex block if the enemy glaive is getting all of those uh, perfect afterburns. Okay, now you're seeing Infamous Satan and Castro getting the reflex block right now. As I just pointed out, you need to have that. But the snowball is starting to form here. 11 to 4 and kills 9.1k gold to 7.4k. Infamous looking in trouble here. They need to win these team battles now. They're split. This is not good. Orange team is split. Castro pulled out way too far ahead. Needs to let high EP initiate a lot more here. Can't get caught out here. Uh, Sen Herschel with the overdrive on the A skill. Massive amount of reach there. Not to mention damage. Double heavy prison for Sen Herschel. Looking for that early game damage. 
Then we go ahead and push the objective. Good decisions from Oisin to push the objective here. Team Jitsu showing a lot of good decision making and strategy here. No minion candy on gold mine. Oh, there it goes. There's minion candy on the gold mine. High EP looking for a stun on San Herschel. They're gonna pull up Cat Satan. Doing the afterburn. But to get Selena by Junior's extra damage. Castro needs to pull away. He needs to kite in. He's caught. He went the wrong way with that Sonic Zoom after he was to get some more distance to kite. Why isn't he in San Herschel? He is not in San Herschel there. Oh, that resonance effect deletes both. And Castro gets the ace puff there in a very awkward turn of events here. Uh, San Herschel uh, coming, trying to do the ultimate at the last second. Wastes that opportunity and now has a 70 second, 69 second cooldown on that ultimate. And uh, they're going to go ahead and go for this objective as well. Uh, I don't believe there's any turret aggro yet, so good job on that. They've taken the objective and possibly even the score now. If you look at the gold differential, 10.1k to 11k, so they've, with that one engagement now, they have actually nearly pulled even with Team Jitsu. Here comes a possible action here. Infusion has gone off for Castro. You saw the Crystal Infusion. Will he lead with his way for it? Castro, Castro caught out. Deleted. He goes down. Satan has to have to burn away. High EP trying to go back now for the gold mine to get the gold mine to aggro in on San Herschel. But it's not enough. Satan getting that fountain hit comes in. High EP goes down looking to take out San Herschel. Not enough as they get the gold mine and the ace buff. Satan ace. needed to go in action in earlier. Before in High EP got taken out, while collected. they had the gold mine still up, he waited far too long to jump into that battle, waited way too late to jump in, and that cost his team the gold mine and the ace. If you're gonna jump in, jump in a lot sooner as High EP is there, as the gold miners aggro, and they might have actually had a chance to take out at least San Herschel in that last engagement, but him waiting too long to jump in allowed Ornesty then to, to, to kill High and then focus in on Satan. You're seeing Castro taken out of the game super, super early. I mean, even before the battle started, Castro was almost dead. There goes a Solar Storm in. Castro takes out San Herschel with a push there, but he's going to go down as well. Not going to be able to survive that 462 damage. Satan also low. I don't think he should go back into this. He needs to just transport home, get away. Which he does. SGMR well tries to get across, but good after burn away. Uh, this is interesting. Junyu with the triple. What? Triple piercing spear. Triple piercing spear. So he's looking to take down high EP early so that high EP isn't able to do any defensive support. This is an interesting tactic, tactic you're seeing Southeast Asia teams do. And in the past, not done very well, to be honest. I'm not a fan of the, the piercing spear tactic, I think. But we will see what happens here. High EP, 50% health with that engagement right there. Here comes a way for it. Knockback, Castro's getting gold miner aggro, has to hit out, he's secluded. Satan goes down to Junio. Castro gets deleted from a Heliogenesis. High AP will go down as well. This will be another ace for Team Orange. And the Snowball here is now well formed. Another ace for Team Jitsu showing clear dominance. Fantastic afterburns and knockbacks from Junyu to separate Castro. Castro for his part not doing a good job of being uh, conscious that he's being knocked back and focused on. And oftentimes getting separated, not able to put enough damage in to the fight. High EP um, also with only a fountain at this stage in the game, not able to do too much support there. Infamous Satan in trouble. He goes in too early and he gets deleted. It's 3v2. This may be the game. Castro goes with Way for it, comes out, but here comes a merciless person. Solar Storm comes in, deletes! Deletes Castro and he goes down. High EP goes down. That's the game. 
GG to Team Jitsu. Fantastic solar storm from San Herschel to finish off any remaining hopes that Infamous PC had in that match. Look at the dominance of Jitsu. Jun Yu with the fantastic knockbacks. Satan being way too aggressive, not understanding that his power is not enough to fight head to head with Jun Yu. And that's GG for Team Jitsu. Infamous not living up to their reputation. They have gone down really easily in this game. 23 to 8, a 15 minute game. We are seeing the dominance of Jun Yu, man of the match Jun Yu. Perfect afterburns. He's hit every single afterburn. Separated Castro out from the bunch, allowing uh, San Herschel to run free and hit the Heliogenesis is in. Castro getting deleted very, very early in a lot of the team fights. Satan jumping in, not doing his afterburns correctly, jumping into the fight, trying to fight head to head against Jun Yu when he clearly doesn't have the attack power that Jun Yu does. They needed to be a lot more patient, wait for the end game, don't let Ornstein push the objectives. And, and just kind of waited out for the end game and let some of their teammates, let Castro kind of get in to his build a bit. You know, the problem here also was is that Sen Herschel with that broken myth, super dominant, but here on the crystal side, Castro only with a pacing chart and alternating current. That is not enough power to compete. So you're looking at Jun Yu and Sen Herschel having really hardcore damage against blue team here. Blue team just not having enough damage. The team engagement and decision makings for a lot of the blue team, a big problem here. Um, both Catherines uh, doing their part to kind of help out and do their stuns, but unfortunately uh, for Infamous, they're not able to carry damage. And actioning in on a lot of those team fights and trying to push and push and push when they don't have the power allowed Ornstein just to sit back, pick their moments, get the afterburn in, separate Castro, and then snowball in for the win. So a really good, really strong showing from Team MY Jitsu from Malaysia taking out the front runners of Infamous in this game. So congratulations to them for moving on to the next round.